There was a well-known commercial that had the marketing slogan, I haven't got time for the pain. It was so successful as a slogan because it was so relatable to so many different people. Truth is, we can all relate to pain. Truth is, we're not fond of it either, or even the slightest hint, for that matter, of discomfort. God's Word teaches us, however, that sometimes there is profit in our pain. As hard as that is to believe, reality is, is that lessons of life are often taught to us in the classroom of suffering. Whether you are suffering through an elementary school spelling quiz, or dealing with the excruciating pain of life-threatening disease, or the heartbreak of grief. We look at the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis of the Old Testament. Joseph was unfairly treated by his own brothers, who threw him into a pit and even sold him into slavery. What carried Joseph through such bitter circumstances was his ultimate belief that the God of heaven was in control of his life and that the sovereign Lord had a divine destiny revealed to him in a dream for him to fulfill. Genesis chapter 50 verses 19 and 20, Joseph said to his brothers who committed such a heinous crime against him, he said, do not be afraid for am I in the place of God? But as for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good, in order to bring it about as it is this day to save many people alive. Joseph was able to keep even extreme bitter circumstances in their proper perspective. He did this by recognizing that when he was in the hands of God, there would even be profit in the midst of his pain. So don't let the negative circumstances of life transform you into something you never wanted to become. Submit it all to the Lord God and allow Him to take the pain of life and use it for your ultimate profit by allowing God to form you into something glorious, something beautiful. Romans 8, 28 and following says, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose. For whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom He predestined, these He also called. Whom He called, these He also justified. And whom He justified, these he also glorified. In the name of Jesus, don't allow the negativity of life make you better, but better. And as a child of God, remember, there is profit even in the midst of your pain.